Hi, and welcome to The Incredible Life of Cat. Today is candles, not candles of the week. Oh my God, coffee and candles. I am batch taping everything because I don't know when I'm gonna have time this weekend. Um, let me slide this over. We're going through another crate that I have in my closet. I did wanna share with you the coffee cup I was using earlier, one of them. I was using mornings are for coffee and contemplation. And then I was using my Stranger Things mug. Someone is in incessantly texting me. It's really getting on my nerves. My last video, it was just going off. So what's in here? There is Gingerbread Man from Goose Creek. Uh, there are no notes listed on the bottom of this one, but it does have that fun Ray Dunn looking, you know, writing there. It does smell like a good gingerbread scent. Really heavy on the ginger, not so much on the bread. I would still burn it though. And in case I forgot, if you want to, you can subscribe down below. And speaking of coffees, cause I'm actually drinking a mocha right now and not using that coffee cup. My sister bought me a coffee. You can buy me a coffee at buymeacoffee.com and I have that link down below just to let you know. And that is not an affiliate link. That money literally would go into whatever coffee fund I have. So the next candle is Into the Night. This is a nice candle, it's heavy. The scent itself is heavy. I've burned this maybe once, but I think I'm gonna be burning this this fall. I know it's from the core line and you don't always see these, but I wanna enjoy my candles, not just have them sit there and collect dust. They can, the, the, the jars can collect dust later. So the notes for this are sugared raspberry, velvet rose petals, shimmering amber, and creamy musk. Much enjoy this candle. Next one is another one that I bought a few years ago on Mercari and I'm just not using them. So I'm going to start burning them eventually. This is whipped chocolate, marshmallow fluff, and a pinch of sea salt. And this is chocolate marshmallow cloud. So there's no point in having the candle if you're not enjoying the scent. I can see from a collector's perspective because of the packaging. I think if it's a packaging I really love, I'm going to keep it. And that's, that's that. This does smell really good. I haven't been in the mood, especially for chocolate candles. I might start, you know, burning more of these during the winter time or during the fall season. I am not sure yet. I'm also not putting these back like I should because I'll get them mixed up with other stuff. The next one is Hocus Pocus 2 Brew Potion. Another one I haven't burned yet. This has some amber and some patchouli in it, I think. I'm not sure what else. Like these type of ones, I might hold on to the jar and use them, put them somewhere around Halloween. My daughter also sometimes takes the jars for me and puts miscellaneous toys or things in them. So there's nothing wrong with that. The next one is one that I haven't burned that I should, that was like a $6, call, $6 candle at Walmart. It says MS Wrap Coffee and Sarcasm Scented Candle. It says Coffee and Sarcasm on the front of it. This one, I always have a hard time getting the lid off of for some reason. It smells good, but it's really light. So I will eventually use this one up. Would I repurchase? Probably not. I've been trying to avoid their candles. I, I do single wicks once in a while, but not, not the three wicks this year. And the last one is from a few years ago. It is Ghoul Friend, and I'm gonna be burning this around Halloween time. I'm thinking in October, I'm saving all my Halloween candles. I don't have that many of them, and what else I'm gonna buy for just the month of October. The notes on this are dark strawberries, ghostly peony, and spine chilling citrus. I love this scent. They have it out in body care this year. I'm pretty excited about that. And I love the pink wax on this one. So we'll be burning this this October and I'm going to do the same with whatever candles I have left over. I have to go through everything and put them in one place. But um, yeah, I'm going to be doing that with whatever Halloween candles I decide to get this year. But that is it for this video and I will talk to you later. Bye.